Go potty. businessy stuff today in the sense of logistics um <laughs> you know i have the parents i have and i use the word logistics but kind of like the behind the scenes of my youtube my brand's website um i have to find a job as always i always well not, i don't always show you this but like i feel like i've said it enough times where um i'm i am the queen of notes like the queen i have checklist for days okay i encourage everybody to have a checklist not a checklist but um oh well, yeah a to-do list and a checklist and to write your notes down somewhere. A lot of people say pen to paper is the way to reality. In a way, I do agree with that, but I also agree with do it. Do what works for you. Um, this is literally low-key modern day pen to paper. Um, and me writing it down in a notebook just really doesn't help me. I need it on the go with me at all times. I need to be able to edit it as I choose. And so this is just the way I do it. So this isn't like a behind the scenes of content, it's a behind the scenes of, or it's a day in my life, but like I'm just giving insight on what I'm doing. Um, so I kind of search, like videos that I plan on doing, I search YouTube. This is all part of your like, you know, research. Um, I search YouTube and see how those videos are doing in the sense of, so here's somebody. I look at view count so she has 226 views which means she's probably a smaller count but actually bigger than you think see boom 1.42k subscribers um that's actually because i do this a lot i'm not surprised by that but um i would look to see how her video did with her subscriber account and i'll go on to even her channel and see So it's actually doing probably in a regular range count for her. Um, so it's doing pretty well for her channel. I like how it's doing on the bigger channels, which is always going to do pretty well. This type of video is always going to do well on bigger channels. So pro tip, go to filter and go to today. And it should show you people in my similar subscriber count. So two views, 12 hours. They're probably in my range. 64, 19 views actually. Okay, beautiful. So this is what I actually, I just click on their channels and see, okay, how's it doing for them? I go to all the ones with smart view counts because those are people in my realm that I can look for inspiration from. So, Here's what I do. I look at, this is almost like a behind the scenes of like YouTube. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. It's just, I feel compelled. So, okay, wait, let's go back to this. I look at their thumbnail. Her thumbnail is really nice. Um, her thumbnail is really nice as well. Hers is really nice and straight to the point. So I look at their thumbnails for their keywords. Okay, that's a nice one as well. Um, and then I look at their title. What do they do? Why was it productive? Can I even relate, you know? Um, then I go to their channels. I don't always do this, to be honest. Usually I just click and go, but I'm just opening them all up so I can show you guys. So her, 132 subscribers. 65 views on the day she posted it. That's pretty good guys. It's actually really good Honestly 
I see she has 219 subscribers. She's in my ball count, 16 views. Um, I would say that's, that's okay. It's okay, it's not bad. It's been up for two hours, actually. Oh, no, it's for a day. 14 views, 16 subscribers, that's great. 20 views, 32 subscribers, that's great, you know? And I go through and I just see what they did, basically, and how it went in editing. I'm really big on editing sometimes, <laughs> depending on how lazy I am. So, sorry if you can hear it clicking. I actually will sit here and see how they edited the video. Um, and it gives me kind of inspiration for how I want to do my video. 102 views, 71 subscribers. That's great. 22 likes. Amazing. Like, good for you. And so, you just see what I'm doing. So, actually, I'll go through and I'll just click through. I usually, honestly, just watch the beginning because that's what most viewers are going to watch. Okay, so the goal of me doing this is just, honestly, research. I'm looking for three main things. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm looking for keywords and their titles. Um, so, you probably are like, what do you mean? They're all titled the same thing. Productive is a keyword. 5 a.m. is a keyword. Day in the life is a keyword phrase, whatever. Um, so you see, productive day in my life, all keywords. This is the biggest keyword, and then she'll add what she did, which are all keywords in their own, and it's actually going to help her algorithm because it's unique to her channel. Nobody else is going to have these exact words in their title. Um, these are two great keywords, but usually I'll add something else to it because, again, like I said, day in my life is a keyword, productive day, it's a keyword, key phrase, whatever. But I'll add something else to it so it can boost my algorithm. This is like a perfect title, a productive day in my life, the biggest keyword you probably want. Featuring what I learned during quarantine. Quarantine is a great keyword as well, but what I learned during quarantine, that's spiking her channel because it's unique to the the system and to her channel itself. A little bit dramatic. Another great key phrase. It's unique to her, unique to her channel. The whole title is hers alone. Like nobody probably else is gonna have this exact title, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I'm looking for keywords in their title. I'm looking for what they did in their um or how their um thumbnail went and then I'm also looking for their editing. I like looking at people's editing styles. I think editing is very cool. It can be super simple. Even the, the simplest ones are complex. They're simple to the viewer, but they're complex in the way they edited it. And so I like to look for those three main things. And then I take that to my channel. And so when I'm filming and editing, I kind of have a basis of how I want my video to come out. I have a basis of how I want my title to come out. Honestly, I usually choose my title beforehand and then I alter it. <laughs> so I'll give you another prime example. So when I say I have a notes keywords, this is why I have a notes keywords because keywords are like YouTube gold. I'm actually going to just bring this completely up. So this has 450 views. Um, and I'll show you the keywords for this. this. These are my keywords for this specific video. So it's the video titled, we went to a drive through Christmas light show. So what I did in YouTube, um, I searched drive through light show and <clears throat> again i'm actually for this video i wasn't looking for editing style i knew what i kind of wanted to do with my editing um i was looking for title keywords and um so like holiday drive through that's um i probably have that on my list i don't <laughs> but had i seen it i probably would have put that on my keyword list um, Christmas light show. I have it on my list. Let me know if this is boring you guys slash let me know if you guys like this type of behind the scenes of how I do my YouTube channel. How I try to boost my YouTube channel I should say because it's a learning process. I'm a very small channel but I think anything look at this. Look at this boy. I'm such a dog mom. I can feel him behind me before I even turn around. What do you want, pops? Anyways, I take it into my um, search engine, YouTube helper, whatever. And so, all these keywords I see, like, let's let's try. Let's just try. I, I always write it in here as well. Um,
boom see that was i did that just accidentally <laughs> okay so as you can see i don't know if you guys can actually see i just randomly typed in a holiday drive there because i saw that in this title where is it and to me i'm like oh that's a good that's a good title that's a good keyword i think <laughs> let me um pull it into my keyword thing and it gives me a score and then i know if i should use that as a title so this i just wrote a holiday drive through and it gave me an excellent score so had i searched that before honestly a holiday drive through would have ended up in my title <laughs> because um it pulled through as an excellent keyword to use and you want to for me personally i like to use excellent keywords um as my i like to use because they're not all going to be excellent so i i like to use from like yellow orange up to there you know orange is still a little iffy for me but you'll find that a lot of keywords do not give you the green so you'll rarely get a green but that's you know for this example i'm glad it pulled through so the actual title i went with was we went to a drive through christmas light show so let's see how that pulls through i'm not going to change my title i would say that some people do go back and change their title so that their keywords are better so it can boost the algorithm but because my video actually did pretty well um i'm not going to go back and change it it went, or I should say, since it did pretty well, oh, see? So that's why I use that keyword. So my actual title that I ended up using did do excellent. It actually did better than the holiday drive through So that's perfect. As we can see, it worked because it boosted it in the algorithm and I got 450 views. So let me show you that drive through light show. I actually don't think pulls that well. Let's see. Oh, it does good. So it does, it does, it's a 50 good. So actually, what I, that's why it's on my list, I guess. <laughs> I always do, like I said, I always keep the ones that are in the, the high orange and yellow up to put into my tags. So I drive through light shows are great. This is all of these reasons are why this video probably did really well. So we'll go down and I don't, you can't see it on Safari. I'll have to bring it up on Google Chrome. Um, here it goes. Oh, you can't even see it. I have to go into my, <clears throat> oh, yes you can. Here are my tags that I used, and if you cross-reference, all of these are going to be in here, and then some. Even the ones that don't even do well sometimes, I just throw in there. Like, Vlogmas doesn't actually, it's not even a good keyword, to be honest. Um, it just lets your viewer know that you're doing Vlogmas, but because Vlogmas is so saturated in the month of December, it's not even the best keyword to use as your main keyword. But it still goes in my tags, because it's still relevant. Um... But as you see, I didn't use a drive through light show for my title, but I did put it in, uh, I think it's right there, in my uh, tags, which is also all great, all great, all great, all great. So that's a little insight of what I'm doing right now. <laughs> can see another day in my spur of the moment life as you can see my hair is blow dried out blow dried hair for me is my favorite state of my hair even though i may look crazy i just love my hair is blow dried it honestly feels like 
a pillow. Honestly, I'm not straightening my hair. Probably like, well, why is your hair really dry? I'm gonna do a braid. <laughs> Randomly, I was like, I wanna do a braid. Um, it's probably like 12 o'clock, so I'm running really late. But I'm gonna do um a braid situation. What time's at 12 11. I need to be done like everything by 1 30. Cause what are we doing? Content. Love that for us. Um we're trying to get as much content done so that I don't have to do any more um till like next week. <laughs> so yeah. Right now I just have to throw my hair in a ponytail and honestly I'm not even going to show you guys the process of me braiding it because it'll be a struggle. So, I'm just going to put my hair up and probably see you when I'm all makeupified. Makeupified, what? Glammed, that's the word. When I'm all glammed and have my, sorry I'm trying to concentrate, have my hair and my makeup done. I was like, what am I trying to say? I'll see you guys when I have my hair and my makeup completely done. I've honestly become so bad at vlogging because I haven't actually vlogged in forever. Like, what? Let's look at my channel. Worms and shambles because it'll be fixed in a little bit. Okay, on my channel, by the way, shout out to you guys running these numbers up on my last video. My dog's being really rebellious. Okay, so two weeks ago, well, no. But you know what it is? I posted this video January 15th. It is currently February 4th. Anyway, so I posted my last vlog on January 15th. Mind you, obviously I didn't film today. I posted, I probably filmed a week prior to that, which is probably the first week of January. And it wasn't even a full day vlog, it was literally like a two hour vlog. So I haven't actually vlogged in a while. Oh my god, my lips are so ashy. And the way the lighting is set up, I look like the gross girls. Anyways, I say that all to say that I... <laughs> It, ha it is more than a few hours later, even way past me actually finishing my hair and my makeup. I'm still in the same clothes I was in earlier because like I just said, I didn't even get to um, do to film yet. I'm going to film once I finish other things. But I figured this content that I'm about to show you guys is something I would typically put in a different video that I have planned for you guys, which comes out in like literally over a month from now probably. Um, but I'll throw it in here. <laughs> It's me working on business things. So I'm tr currently doing, I'm trying to um, film a bunch of TikToks for Humble Beginnings. And um, if you don't know what Humble Beginnings is, go to my Instagram. It is my brand. I'm starting off real casual with y'all. We're starting off with sweatshirts, but literally the next thing I have planned for you guys is so um i call it a soft launch as in i'm softly introducing you guys into the brand and me into my fashion aspect but the things that are coming up mm, just you wait so anyways we have to film a bunch of tiktoks um tiktok right now is like my number one platform for marketing so I have to be on it with that and I haven't been so I'm trying to film like a whole bunch of TikToks so I have content for like possibly two weeks um so that's what I'm doing right now and I have to get that done like I have to do it or it won't get done <laughs> um and then also I had to take content for IG Instagram I had to take a whole bunch of pictures of everything I obviously have the photo shoot pictures um but other picture outside of the photo shoot pictures I needed to take just of products um so yeah like I said typically this would be in a whole different video I have a whole behind the scenes of the brand um maybe a series coming out if you guys are interested um everything from literally last September October I've been documenting um so yeah I'm going to continue doing this <laughs> 
and y'all can just watch me basically. so much for watching this video it is very short i'm just gonna end it here because after this i'm just gonna go film and job search the same things i've been doing for the last forever <laughs> it's literally my life so i figured that i'm not gonna bore you guys i put a lot of tips and tricks in this video for youtube so i don't want to have to cut too much of that out just to shorten the video if i continue to film um so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you enjoy this video let me know what you want to see down below um can we hit 250 in the next week i think we can guys i think we can we're about 15 subscribers um away at this current moment on february 4th um so yeah our secret comment of the day is and nothing comment whatever you want down below guys please comment it really does help my um engagement and yeah comment like anything you can literally just say hi to me in the comments and i will reply um comments are like my favorite thing so please 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 comment down below if you're watching this um hit the subscribe button like and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys so much